Well, now I've shown a quality side, but you must be very pleased the way your team stuck at it, George. I'm really pleased with the character of the boys. You know, I think that's something that's shining through every week now, which is great. You know, they're a tight group and they stick together. But uh, we, we are massively disappointed. Like, there's no, you know, there's no hiding from that. I think we, um, I think we created enough opportunities. I thought we had some good scores and, and took the points at the right time. But you know, we we put pressure on and we had a couple of opportunities to score that we didn't quite take. So um, from that point of view, that's that's the disappointment in the changing room. Um, but look, yeah, they are quality side and. You know, some of their attacking play, They every time we gave them an inch or two and, and weren't quite set early enough, they, they took advantage of it and um, it's good lessons for us. There is the second half, you could have gone for the post rather than going for the corner. Those are the ones you're referring to. Yeah, I mean, it's always a, a, an on-field decision and I thought Ludd's managed that pretty well. Um, you know, I think it's, it's sort of game you don't want to get La Rochelle running away with it and we knew how good their maul defence was. They're not a team you're going to maul over. Uh, willy-nilly so it's important to stay in the game but um, but yeah I, I thought there was actually a, a couple of opportunities we created the space and um, got turned over at the last minute and we saw that a couple of times at the end there when we were just trying to force that last pass or force that last play and weren't quite quick enough into the breakdown which um, which is a shame but as I say live and learn. You were very dogged in the first half they had a lot of territory but it's your credit you kept in the game. Yeah look I thought our defence was actually brilliant today you know they, as I say they, they score try, tries like that every week and um, you know, I thought the defence was brilliant. It was just a couple of uh, weak moments or slow moments, and, and La Rochelle got that firepower to take advantage of those. So it's um, it, you know, again, it, it's it's tough learning, but it, it is learning. So um, you know, and I thought we opened them up plenty of times. Thought our attack was very good for a team that's you know conceded the least tries in the French league. I thought we we created plenty of opportunities, but yeah, we'll we'll. Um, I already know we'll watch that back and see a few where we'll wince and go. That, that was the moment we could have um, pushed ahead, but you know that's the game and you've got to be clinical. I guess you wanted to keep a fair amount of pace on the game as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and I thought we did that well. I thought um, you know I thought we were we were set nice and early. We wanted to play, um, you know, and that's uh, that, that was we did our best to keep the, the game flowing, if you like. They were very good at the breakdown too, weren't they? Yeah, very good. Yeah, they, they've got some big men, and um, you know they, they're very disciplined and they train hard at the breakdown. We knew that going into it. I actually thought the boys did a really good job at other games I've watched them, they're turning balls over every third phase, so I thought the boys were very efficient at the breakdown, but you know, you give them an inch and they steal the ball, and that's, that happened to a couple of times at the back end of the game, probably when we got a little bit fatigued. What an education for some of the younger players in this squad to come against some quality French internationals, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Again, you look at George and some of the guys out there, and, and that's their first big international game, and, and um, you know, it's fast, ferocious, it's, you know, the French always have big men, and um, yeah, we'll learn loads of lessons from that. It's, it's our um, it's our first big uh, European game, you know, knockout game as a group, which is is again we'll we'll live and learn of it. Bit of a blow to lose Lewis before the game, and also losing Geordie Reed too. What's the situation with him? Geordie uh, took a bang on his shoulder, so I haven't I haven't seen what it's like yet. I'm hoping it's not too bad. Yeah, and um, and obviously losing Zan before the game is is not ideal, but um, you know it's more important. He's he's in one piece, so uh, didn't think it was right to to push him through something and. Um, yeah, it's, it's what it is. That's the game, and that's that's why we're playing so many players across the. I don't know what it is, 50 odd players we played this year because we want a squad that's competitive. So when someone steps out, you know, we it's gutting to lose them. But Charlie was ready, he was prepared, he was good to go. Unfortunately, he picked up an injury in the game as well, which put Chris on the wing. But that's the nature of the beast. You know, you, you have to have everybody ready. You have to have a squad that's competitive. And um, yeah, like we say, exposure for days like today. You know, Clement, Bart, and these guys. It's it's all good for their growth. But finally, these are the sort of games you want to be in at Bolton. It's a good measure of where you are, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And that's you know that is that will be the overriding message for the boys. You know, once they get over the emotion of this, is you know, La Rochelle are a quality side as we started the conversation here. You know, they uh, they've in a good chance of winning the uh, French league, and and they've got a good chance of kicking on here. And um, you know, they've they've spent time building a really good squad, and, and I think they're a really disciplined French team. They they never sort of um, lose their way, which is is very impressive. So. You know, we're not a million miles off. Like I say, we could have been more clinical in a few areas, but um, yeah, the, the boys will grow from this and take confidence from it, but you, you've got to get over the initial sting.